I very often encounter final year students and who passed out from the colleges approaches me saying that, hey, I want to be a brand strategist. I always say them that, hey, you can't be strategist from the day one. You know, to practice, practice, and practice for at least a few years. So they really don't like this, of course, because I'm just kind of killing their dream of becoming a strategist. They thought they studied strategy. Now they have every right to be a strategist. Who am I? Who is this person, Durham, is gonna stop us to become strategist? Of course, I'm not stopping you. I'm just telling you the truth. The truth is, by just studying, you won't become a strategist. That's what I'm gonna explain here. I'm not explaining you don't study. I'm just telling you to be a strategist. There are a few things you need to know. Okay. There are a lot of these misconceptions regarding strategies. Uh, I don't know how much I'm able to kind of eradicate with this one video. Of course, I need to make many videos. I'll try to do my best to give a, a right perspective or, or needful perspective on what is strategy. So this video is towards that mission, okay? To be a strategist, of course, you need to know, you need to have a knowledge, that's important. But that itself is not sufficient, okay? You need wisdom, you need mindset of a strategist. So before we discuss about this mindset part, we look at the few aspects as a strategist, what you need to inculcate and a practice for a few years so that you can emerge as a strategist. The first thing is research. You should develop the, the capacity mindset to do research. And of course, you just Google it, you'll come to know about the research, primary, secondary, there are many, many tools out there, many, many types of research out there. So you being aware and practicing and being a good researcher is essential to be a great strategist. I'm talking about practical great strategist, not the person who has got on his visiting cards, the designation is written as a strategist, no. I'm talking about practical person who practically do a great strategies. The second thing, the second set of knowledge this person needs to develop is I say that hypothesis, okay? This person needs to get exposed to a lot of variety of hypothesis. The more hypothesis or more thesis or all these aspects he's aware about, those become handy when you are making strategy for a brand or whatever, okay? You having a good amount of thesis, formulas, hypothesis is very important. Of course, like after that, the last circle, which is all about solution okay so you provide solutions that is where your strategy come into play that strategy get into the market and it'll get tested if you want to do a strategy for a brand or a product you first need to do the research the relevant related research whatever the objective you have then you have to apply hypothesis to build your strategy on the basis of hypothesis. This hypothesis-based strategy will be tested, and test results are the outcome, okay? So sometimes what we do, like, I hypothesize around that become a strategy, and we get into a pilot test and see that consumer reaction if consumer reactions are positive, 
then we consider that strategy is working for us, then we will make that as the working strategy for the brand. For whatever reason, when we tested with consumer or market or, or, or in, in a pilot project, we come to know that it is not yielding the needful results that mean that strategy is weak. We have to, again, go back to this stage, hypothesize, which is strategy construction stage, and come up with a new hypothesis and then go and test it. Once again, it all depends upon what object you want to achieve. According to that, uh, you might need some additional research or you might need to look at other aspects of the research which you never considered before. So maybe this time you know to consider that. So it all depends upon how you are taking this ahead and achieving your goals. So I hope you started understanding that to be a strategist, it doesn't happen on a day one. First of all, you need to groom yourself as a good researcher, okay? And that become a base, and then you have to accumulate good amount of hypothesis and knowledge about if you're a, you want to do a strategy in a specific domain, you would be needing domain knowledge as well. And of course, when you combine the driver's insights with your hypothesis and domain knowledge, then you come up with a strategy, then you test it and see it, how it's working, how it is performing. If it performs well, then that is a successful strategy. If it fails to perform, then it is a bad strategy. Thanks for listening.